This is the Shaman Wolf Legend, number one wolf, the man of a thousand nicknames. I have so many. Little Wolf, Wolf, uh, Tarzan, Coco. I mean, that's just to name a few. But, so I just, I just dubbed down as a man of a thousand nicknames. But I wanted to, um, I wanted to create a YouTube channel. And I've been wanting to for a long, long time. And now I got the opportunity to do it. And I definitely want to take advantage of that. Um, I've wanted to make a YouTube channel because I wanted to inspire people. I wanted to be an inspiration for the generations. I know a lot of people ain't going to see this. And hopefully, if I ever do, by the bless of God... Hopefully, and I love you, Lord. Hopefully, you know, I'm lucky enough, blessed enough to get enough subscribers and enough following so I'm able to have that chance to inspire. I truly believe one of my main purposes that me being on this world is to inspire and to help. The ones that need help the most and inspire those that don't that can't find help within themselves, can't find their own motivation. And maybe even and help all the masses, all different kind of, uh, you know, diversity of people. But I want to share a story. Kick off my YouTube channel with uh, with story time. Number one will story time. It's a story that I made up. And just, I'm just going to put this out here. Every single quote that I've ever said in the history of ever on social media, in person, anywhere I've ever been, I have never, ever taken someone else's quote. I don't believe in it. I don't want to be living in someone else's shoes. I don't want to act like some other person. I don't want to be like no one else. I want to be the only Cody Lee Wolf Hansen. I want to be a once in a lifetime person. That means there was only one Cody Lee Wolf Hansen. There was only one number one wolf and only one shaman wolf legend. Um and I you know but the story is basically this little boy. He wanted to become a NASCAR driver. That's all he ever wanted to be was be was be a NASCAR driver. And you know, as he grew up, you know, he's eight, nine years old, still wants to be that, you know. So he's growing up, going through school, and he's like, no, he's in junior high. And he still wants to be a NASCAR driver, right? But his parents, his parents are like, hey, Johnny, let's say his name's Johnny. Hey, Johnny, um, you know, we support you being, you know, a NASCAR driver, but just in case a plan B, you know, just in case it doesn't work out or something happens, you know, you always want to have a backup plan. So he's in high school now and he decided, you know what, it's too late to be a NASCAR driver. So that he thinks. And everyone has persuaded him that not to be a NASCAR driver anymore. Everyone said, oh, you have to do this and have to do that. And it discouraged Johnny. So Johnny went down plan B, that road. You know what he did when plan B, that road? Let's say he became a lawyer. So he graduated high school, went to college, did all the schooling for to become a lawyer. Let's fast forward. He made great money. He's got a great house. He's had a good life. He's got plenty of money. And he's retired now. And he has grandchildren. His grandchildren come up to him, you know. Hey, Grandpa. Did you get to do everything that you want to do in life? And Johnny pauses. Old Grandpa Johnny pauses. And he's like, you know, it's a good question. I mean, I've, got, I've, I've had a good life. I've done many things. I've had money, I've had plenty of money, but, uh, you know, I've wanted to be a NASCAR driver, but uh, never, never came out to be, never happened, but, uh, 
lived a pretty okay, pretty average life. So then Johnny passes away. And the priest, preacher, whatever the case, whoever is saying, you know, at the sermon saying, Johnny will be missed and Johnny shall not be forgotten. Now, one of those things that that priest or preacher or whatever said was actually not true. Actually, he lied. He will be missed. You know, by his close ones and by the people who knew him. But he said he shall not be forgotten. Johnny won't be forgotten. The people who knew him. But his legacy that he left will be. Because he lived an okay life. He lived an average life. And he didn't set out to be a NASCAR driver. Now, if he would have died and he was a NASCAR driver, you, I think, you know, Dale Earnhardt, I think his legacy will continue after, you know, his death. Um, any f pro football player, any pro boxer, you know, any bodybuilder that's made a huge name for himself. I mean... Arnold Schwarzenegger, I mean, he's, his legacy is going to go way past, you know, after his death. But is average Johnny, who was a lawyer, is his legacy really going to go down in the history books? No. Because he didn't leave an impact on this world. He didn't live a once-in-a-lifetime life. He wasn't more than just the average trending person. He just got by, was successful, you know, money-wise, if you call that. So my point is, when someone says, what's plan B? And when someone says, what's plan B, Cody? You know what I say back to them? I just smile. Because I know what they want to hear. They want to hear this whole elaborate plan, this whole set out process plan. I look him dead in the eye and I say, with a smile on my face, I say, die trying. They look at me funny like, die trying. I said, plan B is to make sure I die trying if I have to, to make plan A work. Plain and simple. Um, you know, you have to become obsessed with achieving your life purpose that you've made your personal greatness and money can be a tool jobs weights whatever the case might be whatever you have to use as tools to build your road to your own personal greatness but if that's what you truly want to be that's all of you've ever wanted to be you dreamt that that you weren't you know it wasn't your your passion for two years or you know it's like you were born to be that, like that's all you wanted to be. Why, why hold yourself back? You have one life. Why, why let your one life that you've got and waste it all away, and you never got to be what you always, always wanted to be. That you've always said was your life purpose. That you said that's all you want to be. That was your dream to be that. Go after it. Die trying. You know. Go to your grave knowing that you scratched and clawed to do everything you can to get there. And that you did everything, everything in your power and your soul and your spirit to get there. You got to. You got, you got to be that way. You have to become obsessed with achieving your own personal greatness. Now, I don't want to talk too much longer because knowing me and I got to try to fix it. I go on and on about the same subject. Sometimes I repeat myself because I want to set a certain point, a certain subject, a certain idea across people's minds. I want to inspire them to understand if you got a dream or goal in mind, do everything it takes to get that. And if you don't ever achieve it, at least you'll know you'll be still happy that you died trying, that you went to your grave still giving it everything you've got. At, 
you're 80 years old and you're still knocking on the doors of the opportunity to become whatever it might be that you want to be. At least you're still trying. You know, don't just go with plan B. Plan B was never there. It was plan A is what you want. So go get you what you want. You got one life. Live it to the most. Live it to live life to the fullest every single millisecond. Check out my Instagram. You'll see how many times I hashtag that. And how many times I hashtag be a once in a lifetime person. That means in this lifetime, nobody else was you. Nobody else acted like you, was like you, had a personality like you, did things like you, dressed like you, talked like you. You were the only person that ever did that in the history of this world in this lifetime. Plain and simple. Leave a legacy to inspire generations to break trends and start new ones. Plain and simple. To leave an impact so your legacy doesn't die when you go to your grave. So your legacy lives on through the ages. I'm Cody Lee Wolf Hansen. This is the Shaman Wolf Beast. Number one wolf signing out. Hopefully, I can get some more new subscribers. I'm new to this. I, you know, I don't know all the tricks and trades of it. But please, please subscribe to me. And if you like me, thumbs up. Subscribe. If you don't, hey, thumbs down. Hey, and I just smile at all my haters. That's, I, hey, I'll do that till the day I die. But even to my haters out there, I still hope that I can, uh, my words can inspire you and, and uh, push you or give you motivation to go out there and make a change, start a revolution maybe, or just simply be your own kind, one of a kind. Not being a part of any of these clicks or trends of today. Be your own trend. Start a trend. Be the pack. Start the pack. Be the leader. Don't follow. Number one wolf. Sean Wolf Beast. Signing out.